Okay, I'm going to do a quick video showing the class how to save their configs in a lab. So let's imagine I'm going to go and I'm going to log into Netacad. Should have read it, already done this, but I'm going to just log in Netacad. And we're going to download one of our YAML files. In fact, we're going to download the one that I'm going to be working on here in a little bit, which is our VRF Lite. Please note that soon you will be have to log in with your email address instead of your username. That is an item I sent out to all my support academies earlier, but be aware that is coming soon. They do not give us the date, but it is coming soon. So once you're in here, uh, you know you can go into the EN Core class. You can find the lab that you want to do. In our case, it's going to be I'm just going to grab the one for VRF Lite, which I believe is the six. Yep, 613. So I'm going to grab the 613 YAML. We'll download it to this machine. Click the wrong button. Save file. Click OK. All right. So now, as normal, we go into CML. We import the lab, we browse, we go to downloads, we find 613, and we upload the topology into the lab. And lo and behold, we have our topology for our lab. Now, what I'm going to do is before we start the lab, in order to be able to, to save configs, I'm not sure this is an absolutely necessary item, but um, just since it prompted me to do it, I'm going to do it. But wipe the lab, so click wipe lab and click OK. And that just cleans off any configs that are in the system itself. Then you're going to go in here. And so I'm going to go in and this is going to be R2 actually. Actually, it's going to be yep, R2. So I'm going to boot R2 um, and I'll just go ahead and boot the whole lab. So this is one of our bigger labs actually. So it may take it a while to boot. But I'm just going to show you an example of how to save the config. I'm going to start the configuration on R1 once it gets booted up and we will show you that okay so we come back and r1 has booted so i'm going to go in here hit no because we do not want to use the initial configuration dialog box and we'll do the base config for r1 for this particular lab so as you know normally when you if you don't finish the lab before your time is up when you download it you lose everything that you placed on the router well what we're going to do is I'll show you how to keep your configurations. All right, so we're going to get through all of our booting here. Once we're done, we will go into our normal uh, global config. One of the first things I always do is just for to make life easier on myself is do logging synchronous. And they've actually got us doing uh, exit exec timeout zero so that you, you're um, now don't do that in the real world but that's so that you won't have your console timeout so let's go ahead and go into host name r1 uh, ip no ip domain dash lookup ip v6 and this is straight off the labs folks i'm not just guessing all this putting this on there I'm not going to put a banner on it because I'm lazy. Uh, so line or privilege. Privilege. Zero, zero again. Again, don't do that in the real world. Login us here also. And then log on so that you do have to log on to there. The login. Not on. Yep. Not login either. Log in. Exit. And now what I'm going to do is exit again, and then we're going to write it. So we're going to save it. So now we've saved this config. 
But if we downloaded this now and <clears throat> tried to come back later, we obviously lose everything but the host name that's been set. The way to fix that is go to the router and click on edit config right here. And you'll notice there's no config here. So you update configuration from device. So it may take a few seconds, but click here. It'll give you, it's gonna give you an error message, but it actually ends up doing it. So give it a couple seconds here and it will actually do it. There you go. You'll notice now if you, if we scroll down through here, you'll notice we've got our host name, We've got our, um, scroll on down to the very bottom, you'll see we've set all of our uh, exact timeouts, the login synchronous. Um, we've got the password and everything set on the VTY lines. So all the items are set. I'm also gonna do one more thing just to, um, actually that's fine, it, it's your scene that that's there. So now, once this has been done, we can actually, let's say I'm running out of time, I don't have time to finish this lab. So I've configured this, I've done all of them, I've gone to all of them, and under the edit config, again, make sure you have done the update configuration from device. Now, you then, when you download it, so let's go in here and download the lab, save it, whatever name you wanna save it. And so this, in our case, will be named, um, cause we've downloaded it twice into the same folder. This would be uh, the 6131, so YAML YAML. So this is the YAML YAML. I'm gonna rename this so that you know I'm not, not cheating you here, not lying to you, but let's name it uh, 613 KFC, my initials. Okay, so we're gonna rename it. So now we're, um, we, we send that email to our set, we email that to ourselves. we take it, we put it in uh, paste bin, we upload it into Netacad, something. We keep this file for ourselves. Now, don't leave it on the system, obviously, because you know it will go away. So you could upload it in Netacad to the uh, spot for your, for your assignment, because you can upload it and then download it again. Uh, I'm also going to have Gmail uh, working here shortly on the, on the pods. But either way, you've got to get that file to yourself somehow. If you then had another reservation and you were doing this lab again, you could then just go to Lab Manager. You could import a lab, import the file that you had, which in this case, our KFC YAML. So we're gonna upload it. Now, what I'm gonna do, um, just for simplicity's sake, I'm only gonna boot this one device that I've actually configured. So now router one is booting, and when it gets booted up, you'll see that my VTY lines are set, IPv6 unicast routing is on. Um, everything that I configured in the first lab will now be saved. And it's all because I went in to the device, I went to the edit config after configuring the device and updated configuration from device. Then I downloaded this particular lab and that will let me save my config. So let's go back over here and it should eventually, it takes a little bit. These, these iOS images are booting a little bit slow. But see it's applying the configuration, building the configuration. And here we go, R1, you'll see it's got R1 name. It'll show run. You will see that, eventually we'll see IPv6 unicast routing, right there it was. IPv6 unicast routing is turned on, so that command stayed. In addition, as we go all the way to the bottom here, our VTY line configuration and console line configurations stayed. So this is how you can keep your configurations on the labs that you're working on. So again, as you're working on the lab, if you're running out of time, or if you just want to save it with the completed configs on it, and then upload that YAML file for me as your, um, as your completed um, lab, you can do that. You just go to the device once you're finished, edit config, update the config, and then download the lab. So when you're done with the entire lab, I would just update the configs for all the devices download the lab and then and put that into your assignment upload for our class. I hope this has been helpful. <clears throat> Have a good day.